friends, it's Nancy. I promised you a flip through of my um, Adams Family Halloween party journal that I made uh, to document my party from this past Halloween. Um, you know, it's a, I'm going to show you because it's already done and I have my uh, family photos in there and I'm just covering up the family photo part if you don't mind so but I have other pictures of my decorations in my house so I just thought I'd, I you'd probably like to see it so what I did was I bought a book from the Dollar Tree it was a just a black covered book and how I covered this was I took black paper and I ran paper through an embossing folder it was a Tim Holtz embossing folder tore it into strips and glued the strips onto the cover of the book part. After I gutted the book, I took all the pages out. And so that's how I have this look. And then once I sewed the signatures in, the two signatures, I glued more paper here. So that's why you don't see the sewing of the signatures here. And then I just had these old stickers. And I know they're hard to see, but it says Adam's Family Reunion uh, 23 meaning last year and I like the raw edges here and uh, let me show you what it kind of looks like inside so this was the inside and what I did was I put a piece of fabric there first before I sewed the signatures in and this was a sign that I had on my wall uh, so I took a picture of that and I always make my invitations and then include I always put the invitation in my book so I remember what I did. So I had this uh, photo from the original Adams Family on TV. And I did the same embossing folder with black paper and made a frame. And then I have this um, button here. What kind of dystopian hellscape is this? It's from the Wednesday. This is more or less based on the Netflix show Wednesday, which I love. So, and then I have assorted papers from different kits that I already have um, in my stash. So this was my invitation and um, I always include, I like this bitmoji because I get so excited for spooky season. And then this was my, um, this actually was printed on the back of this framed photo and this was my invitation. So um, this was my invitation. And then here, well, m my kids and my grandkids, we always go to the spirit store, if you recognize this. And um, yeah, we go at least three, four, five times. The grandkids, my youngest grandson and my two granddaughters love it. So yeah, we, we all, and then my daughters will come and my son-in-law sometimes. But me, yeah, I'll go. We go, so... That was our little one of our little excursions to the spirit store. And then I have this page. And then uh, we went traveling to some neighborhoods that have really awesome decorations. So these were just a couple of pictures from outside houses. And then, of course, Nevermore Academy Wednesday. Every day is all about me. And some of that ripped paper, I just added it as a you know, decoration. And then um, this here is my craft room table. And I have, well, I have more, but this is like I sit, this is where I sit in front here. And I always have to have all my, um, I don't have my Mr. Skelly in here, believe it or not. He's a light up skeleton. He's always with me. But this is kind of my um, craft table here and then this is from the show the Weathervane Cafe he works there and he turns into a hide which you can't really see here in this picture if you can kind of see it um, and then here's Wednesday and I, I I actually had bought a charm bracelet from Amazon a Wednesday charm bracelet and took the charms off and used them in my journal and there's Enid and then this is their window in their dorm room that they share. So, of course, Enid's half of the window is all pretty colored stained glass. And then Wednesday's is not, nothing. And then I have this uh, journal card clipped here with this lace. And then we have, um, 
Uncle Fester. I made this cousin it from, and I, I'm sorry, this is Thing. Yeah, I ordered him from Amazon. These are one of the pumpkins I grew in my pumpkin patch, and I made cousin it from a tomato cage and grass skirts, and I bought the hat from the spirit store and the glasses from the Dollar Tree. So I have my cousin it. Here's Lurch in the car, the car he drives, and then I put a piece of lace in this uh, ring here because, you know, you pull the cord and he says, you rang. <laughs> and this is um, from the organ because he plays the organ. So this was from that Sears Roebuck catalog. And then we have um, Wednesday's brother, Pugsley. And then um, this is part of some of my decor in my house. My friend had found this cool uh, lamp that somebody made with Wednesday on it. So she got that for me from a resale shop. And when you light it up, it's red, red. So, and then my granddaughters were dressed as Wednesday, one the dancing Wednesday, one with the traditional black and white, which I made their costumes. I usually make their costumes for them and uh, outside pictures. And some of these pages I know are from Tracy Fox. Her Dark Compendium kit, I believe it was. And then a lot of these others, gee, I just can't remember. But, um, oops. <laughs> oops, that's, uh, yeah, that's that. And um, so here's uh, some uh, black lace papers. And this was, I think this came from a freebie. And then this here is a... a thing on my wall it's a one of those light up pictures you press the button which lights up the cat lights up and then she talks and um in the show um Wednesday has a pet scorpion when she was a little girl she named him Nero so I I copied uh, a pet scorpion printed on parchment and put Nero there and this is from Tracy's kit um and nevermore and then this is a, a black plastic urn that I put a skull head and hands in so he sits by my front door and family of course my younger grandson likes to be ghost face <laughs> and then Morticia and Gomez and then Eugene is from, he's the kid that Wednesday befriends. He's the beekeeper, so that's hence the bees. And then uh, here's another charm with the W. Stands for Wednesday. And when you turn it upside down, it's M for Morticia. Other characters from the show. This is my kitchen window. Looking out my kitchen window, morning pumpkin. And I have this, I had this cute skelly guy peeking in. And then this is on my island, my tray with lights and things and my little ornament of a vampire. This is looking that way at my wall. I have my Halloween quilt hanging, decorate my shelf. I have baths, things like that. This is uh, from a kit I know I have from Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda, that one. There's more decorations that I have in my home here. And yeah, I, I had so much fun doing this. And then here I printed this gate out on parchment here. So that looks kind of neat. And then my one daughter and her husband were Morticia and Gomez. There's more pictures of the girls. This is uh, Joseph Crackstone, Goody Adams. This is from the show. So if you saw the show, um, you would know what this all means. But otherwise, it's just, just going to show you here. And another area of my decorations here. And this guy turns into a hide. And here's the story of the hide from the show. And then this is all also from the show, but this is Edgar Allan Poe. And to crack the code, um, there was, she had to go 
and figure out what all these meant. And these are the answers here. And if you look here, it says snap twice. Once she snapped twice, she got in. So here's a, a page from the book. I just decorated it, put the uh, cello here, a little, little bit here. She played painted black from the stones. Um, this is this was pretty popular last year where you would find old paintings or you would print out old pictures of barns and stuff and then you would just add like pumpkins and cats and ghosts. So a lot of people were doing that last year. It was really fun. And then um, I think this page here is uh, from Tina as well. And this is in my bathroom, the little skellies, the man and the woman in their bubble baths. I decorate a lot of places, even in my bathroom. <laughs> and then more important characters from the show. Here's Wednesday. She was born on Friday the 13th. She likes to cut out paper dolls. So I just did that from book page. Um, this here is a printable I got from Lady Black Blood Design, uh, Lady Black Blood Prince printables so it's it's a typewriter pocket but when you pull it out it's a journal card and this is what she told her mother since you have abandoned me here at the school I've been hunted haunted and been the target of an attempted murder signed uh, with the A for Adams and that's kind of fun I've used that many times this pocket these were um cookies that my two daughters ordered as favors for everyone at the party. Those were so cute and good. Here's Deadly Nightshade Plant, plays a role in the show. And then just more of my decorations here. There's that lamp that's, you know, when I said it lights up, it's red. Um, this is a haunted door bell, a little Dalai, um, Got from the Dollar Tree and I made it into a little Halloween doll. Here's a close-up of my quilt, one of my Halloween quilts, and how I decorate the shelf above it. More decorations. One of my that's one of my pumpkins that I grew. And they the pumpkins I grew were the jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, size and they were about nine inches and probably I think between 20 and 25 pounds so I planted them again this year I made a charcuterie board with the skelly and had the olives coming out of them so it was pretty good just some of our food that we had uh, more decorations more for food. I made a coffin cake. Here's the other side of that. And then all the extra pictures, I usually make um, an envelope and I stuck all the extras. This envelope is glued into the book. So I just put all the extra pictures in there. So yeah, that was my, uh, I always make a, a journal to document our uh, parties. So this was my last year's Halloween party. So I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe got some um, ideas for your own journals. And if you have any questions, just let me know. So thanks for hanging with me, friends. I hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Bye.